Good evening, my friends. It's Talisa with DIY Living by Talisa Lindsay. How are you? I'm excited and giddy about this evening's DIY. Um, I was thinking outside the box. I had something else planned, but I decided to go in this direction, and I am a farmhouse shabby chic kind of girl who just loves lace and anything that we can use that I have around the house right now. So, this is something I have around the house, but I think it's going to be absolutely stunningly beautiful with what's the vision in my head. Hello, Marla. Hey, Erica, how are you? I'm so glad to see you and Cindy. If you would be so kind as um, to quickly just go and sprinkle the love so that we can start getting those names put in pretty quick. My husband is awake this evening in the next room watching, so he will start tallying those up. And at the very end, for all of those who have said you have sprinkled, then he will announce what names he have put in for the bucket for this evening. So there's six names that goes in for every hundred that we hit. Just so you know how we roll. And it's called our TLC bucket because I'm Talisa Lindsay, so it's TL, Tender Loving Care, but that's my way of giving it back to you. So hello, Beverly, I'm so glad to see you. Hey, Joyce. And let's see who else we have this evening. Lisa and Carrie and Sue. So. I am sharing a little bit of a different treat with you ladies. I have really not shared this part of me that much. And tonight is, we are gonna be making some jewelry, but we're gonna be making some jewelry with things that you probably already have and you don't even know that you have, okay? So hopefully you will like this. It's gonna be like, um, one of the ideas I wanna do is gonna be like kind of boho-ish. I've never done before, so we're gonna do it together. Hope it does not become a flop. I know the vision in my head. So, hello Donna, how are you? And Patty and Cindy. So, I am going to use one of these um, projects. I'm just going to use a key ring, which I'm sure if you need to rob your key ring to wind up doing this, you can do that too, right? Or whenever you go to the next, uh, good, you know, whenever you have to go shopping for your food or any of that, you'll be able to find them too. They're accessible. The other one I'm going to use is just, I have this circle, and I'm not sure if everybody else will, but it's just, it's a silver circle. And so what my idea with this, I'm gonna put you down here so you can see everything. And like I said, as you jump on really quick, just let us know that you've sprinkled so we can get your name into our TLC bucket for this week, okay? I appreciate you. And I wanna make sure everybody can see what I'm doing. So, oh, and by the way, in case you stars. don't, yes, in case you don't know. It just popped up on mine. The stars, okay, ladies, you can hit the stars on my page now, all right? That sends a lot, a lot of love, and it gives you a really big shout out. So as you start seeing those stars, I think there's some at the very top. Just hit those. Let me know that you hit those, because we want to give you a big shout out. So someone just sent me, sent me 50 stars. It was Janice. Thank you, Janice. You're so awesome. I appreciate you. So she just sent 50 stars. So you guys can just keep shooting those out while I'm going live. That is like beyond any kind of love you could ever give, even over the hearts right now for any of us that are live. So if you see this, not everybody gets those. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. You are so awesome. Let's see who else is shooting me out stars. Can you see it, honey? We've got um, Alicia shooting me stars. Um, oh yeah. So my husband's gonna give you big shouts out as I get to this, because I'm gonna get so excited that I will not be able to do this. It's just so much fun. All right, honey, which ones do you see that's shouting out um, stars? Let's see, I see a Kyla. Nyla. Um, Nyla that's shooting out. Athena. Athena that's doing Alice. it. Alice. Anyone? P. Jane Moore. Who? P. P. Jane, P. Moore. Jane Moore. Okay, you guys, awesome. Linda. And Linda, you guys rock. You rock, Janice. rock, rock. Who, Janice? Oh my goodness, you guys are awesome. Denise. So, Denise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, let's see, we have more. So anyhow, as we are doing this, giving you shouts out, if you're shooting out those stars, that's gonna give you an extra name that's going into the TLC bucket, all right? That's because you went over and beyond throwing any kind of love at me. And of course, all of the others that are in here doing the ha's and the emojis and the hearts, and, uh, and as long as you're also commenting, that all just kind of collects. So it just like gets me over the top that you guys did that for me. So if you can just continue to do that throughout, 
My husband's gonna let me know and I'm gonna stop jabbering so much because you got me so excited and I am gonna get to this. So we are currently right now, honey, at 660. So you're gonna have to be shooting out a lot of names that so you're gonna have to be putting down. We're at 400. Um, mine says 600, I'm sorry, you're right. Right now I'm, I'm shooting up to 760 um, stars. That's what I'm counting. Kathleen, I saw Kathleen, so there we go. Thank you, Kathleen. He is going to make sure that um, he lets me know all of those names. Anyone that see, you see stars with, you make sure, honey, you add. He's trying to keep up. He's trying to keep up. <laughs> he's keep busy. He's gonna, you guys keeping him busy. We're going to add you in and, and um, extra in for that TLC bucket, all right? So this is, is just so awesome. I just want to say thank you. So here we're going to get started. I want to make this into a boho, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take these little strips of materials and this the reason I changed my idea, okay, first of all, I'm sharing with you some of my absolute favorite loves I have. I absolutely love this jar so passionately. And I know it's crazy, but what's in here is all of my little vintage buttons. And I don't use them that often, but there is just glues and gloss and over the top, just like vintage buttons in here that I absolutely adore. It even smells vintage, if you know what I mean. So um, I'm probably gonna be using some of these in tonight, which I'm excited over. And we have some of my lace here, but what tonight's inspiration came from is we had a um, follower who sent me some goodies today. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like so over the top, beautiful material and I've gotta use it. So this is what comes to my mind. So what we will do is we're gonna make this look like a small dream catcher, if at all possible. We're gonna tie different ribbons and materials and textures on here and kind of like, you know, do a spider effect where it looks like a small dream catcher. And then we're gonna jazz it up, spaz it up. And then we're also gonna have a tassel that hangs off of it. And I'm gonna make that into a necklace. So I hope that you guys really love this idea. It's outside the box, it's a little bit different. It'll be kind of like a little bit of a boho shabby chic if you wanna call it. That's what's in my vision in my head. So let's just hope that that still works out. I'm looking for my finger protectors and I'm talking so much. It should be in a cup. I know, but I moved my cup, that's my problem. I moved my cup down below and it's not over here near me. So now I don't have it. All right, so let's just hope I don't burn myself. So let's get started with putting this behind here. And I'm gonna get a little bit, you can use the Gorilla Glue on this cause you're gonna need something that has a little bit more bond. Just be careful. I'm sorry, what'd you say? They've reached 400. Oh, awesome, you guys are, you are the bomb. Okay, so we are going to, we're up there. So he's got all of those extra names. So right now we have how many, 24 names that you've put in there in addition to all of the stars that come out? Is that, is that, um, six names per hundred. Right, so I'm calculating correctly, right? Six names per hundred. Right, six times four, it's six times four. 25. I said 24. <laughs> He's trying to confuse me, ladies. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> That's why he still laughs at me after all these years. So, laughing with you. yeah, he's laughing with me, all right. <laughs> all right, so let me put this over here. And like I said, we're just going to go back and forth, making these strips going in every and any direction, boho-ish, if I should say, and attach it. The stars, the stars should be down by where the hearts and that is, or if it's up here at the very top, um, if you'll see, just look for a little star. Wherever you see those little stars, you gold just, color. they're gold. They're a gold color, yellow, if that makes any sense. So that's what you'll see. Let's see, we just, who found them? Edie, Edie just found them. Edie. I can't even read with these glasses on. I'm telling you, it's so serious. Um, let's see who else. We have Kathleen that's still do, that's doing it. You guys are bomb, the bomb. I have no idea. It's a new thing that Facebook has done. And I guess it's just a way that whenever someone is on live and if you really like 
um, the person, if you like the project they're doing, then um, that just lets them know, hey, they really would like to see what there is going on. And that also helps us in so, so many ways. And I mean, so, so many ways. <laughs> so I am just so over the moon and grateful that you guys are helping me out. Okay, I have gone with two different materials, but we're gonna continue because I have, look, I mean, like tons of different straps of colors and textures that's here. So we're gonna grab some of those and I'm gonna attach them around here, like I said, and we're just gonna kind of make it look like, um, I guess you wanna call it, like like I said, a boho chic. So I'm gonna attach this one, but this one I'm gonna, I wanna go around several times. And then I have some pretty little rosettes, jewelry, buttons, um, whatever you think you have. Oh, I have broken jewelry around. So all of these are great ideas that you can use to embellish this with. It'll be really pretty. You sprinkled the TLC, Tammy. Thank you. I appreciate you for doing that. You're so, you're the best. Um, look like you're having um, a buy, I'm sorry, what's that? Buy the stars. I think that, um, honestly, I think that you do. I think there's a certain amount of stars that you buy. I'm not sure how much it is. I haven't looked at it. I haven't done it. It's just something that was offered to me and I had to sign up for it today um, through Facebook and only certain businesses are allotted or allowed to do it. Um, Facebook, Facebook's not offering it to everyone, my understanding. They're only offering it to certain businesses. So if um, they offer it to certain businesses, it's considered an honor and you're supposed to take it. Um, so I took it. It's an honor. So sure, I'll do that. Hazel sent you a box before Easter. Did you get it? Let her know. Hazel, Hazel. Um, Hazel, please private message me and tell me what you sent me and I will let you know um, if I received that or not. And if we didn't, we'll have to track it down. Okay. So, and uh, we'll just, we'll find out if it was sent to my PO box or if it was sent to a different address. We'll figure it out either way. Okay. So I am just, if you can see what I'm doing, can you see what I'm doing here? See, it's already starting to look very boho-ish. I am just going around kind of like a spider web, if you want to call it that, and just pulling through in different areas, which I'm just now going to stop where I'm at here, glue that, and then continue on with a different texture. And then we'll just keep going around. It'll add a lot of character to this. I think you'll really, once you find out and you see what I'm doing, if it visually comes out the way I hope it to, you're gonna see exactly how pretty it'll be. And you'll probably like it as much as I do. So. Who's shooting out those stars? You guys are awesome. It's a, okay, so it's $1.99 for 100 stars. I did not know that. That's really good to know though. That's awesome. Okay, so now we're going to put a little bit, this is my scrap materials. We're gonna attach this one, kind of weave in and out. And then once I'm done with that, we're gonna start attaching tassels and uh, let's see, pearls and all different kinds of materials. So if you have scraps around the house, this would be a perfect project that you could use for that. And I'm gonna use this one to tie it off so you'll be able to see a little bit of character with that, um, like in certain areas, which I think is really cool. I think it's awesome. All right, let me weave this in and out. Is it blurry tonight? I wonder if it's, is it blurry for all of you too? Is it just, I'm wondering, let me see something real quick. Give me a moment. Sorry about that. I wanted to see if that made it any better because we had a very bad storm that hit us earlier today. We had tornado warnings. We had gust winds of like 60 miles per hour. Lightning popping everywhere scared me out of my britches. <laughs> so I was not, I was not a happy camper earlier today. I was scared. You sprinkled. Thank you for sprinkling. You guys are so awesome. I appreciate you so much. I do. I do. I do. My husband's going to have to help keep up with these. Not blurry at all for, let's see. Susan says she's not blurry. Okay. 
So is anybody else? We're all good? Better. It's better. Okay, now I'm gonna feed this through. Like I said, I'm just weaving in and out. So there's no rhyme or reason to this, but it's gonna look adorable and so stinking cute. Not blurry for Beth. Okay, Betty. All right, let me clip this off. There we go. So how is everyone's Monday starting off? Ours was starting off on a big storm. Others had really good weather. It's like one side of the world gets really good weather and the other side of the, side of the world doesn't. So it's, it's like it takes turns or something. I don't know. And it gets tore up in between, like my husband said. That's true. And we do, and our, um, they are opening the beaches back up locally for us. So um, they're going to allow some of the community to start going out and go to the beaches around us. It, but it's only for exercising only. You're still supposed to be in your little uh, social distancing and all of that stuff too. So... Yeah, at least I know my kids are wanting to get out. They're getting a little bit stir crazy, but I'm still, yeah, I, I could, you know, it's whenever, I just want to be safe is what I, I want to be above anything else. I just want to be safe. So I'm listening and waiting. And I do know that all of the schools are not going back for the rest of the year, which I feel sad for all of the seniors. I have so many friends that have seniors, um, that are not having their graduation party. One of them being like one of my really good best friends. She, her son's not having his graduation. It's just, and it's so upsetting to them. I'm putting some pearls in here, girls. This is gonna look really pretty. Um, let's see, what, uh, we got rain and oh, wow, and chilly. So some of you got different types of rain that's going on. Let's go with Deborah this. Who's that? Deborah, stars. Deborah, thank you so much for sending stars. You're awesome. Make sure she goes in there in that bucket. Oh, on he's on it, ladies. He's on it. <laughs> he's on it. While I'm crafting, he's on top of it. Hello, Linda Bell. How are you? It was sunny where you were today. Where are you from, Linda? Is it Kentucky? I don't know why I'm thinking that you're Kentucky for some reason. I try to remember where most of my followers are from, but I don't have a genius mind. I am not that good where I can remember all of that. So I'm just saying. I try, but I ain't that good. All right, let me cut this off. Put this one on the back side of this. Kathleen, oh my word, she is serious about getting in that TLC bucket. <laughs> my husband said, you keep that up, you'll have to personally be delivering it. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. That was funny. He comes off with some of the weirdest things at the most weirdest times. That's what keeps me on my toes while he's in the next room watching. All right, let me glue this real quick. Then we're gonna get started on the bottom tassel and you can do several ways of making a necklace out of this. You can do it with your scraps and you can make it long enough to hang it from or you could do like I do. I love these, um, let's see, what are they called? Like these cable chains that you can make it as long as you want to. I love connecting these. And I'll show you why, because I also like to embellish them with these little rhinestones at the very top that are so adorable. I love doing that with my, um, what do you call it? Like my keys. I love making jewelry with keys. Has anybody done that? I love it. Oh, Gina, well. Regina? Okay, Regina. Thank you so much, Regina. I appreciate you so much. Apparently, she's going in there, too. <laughs> okay. I have chose these colors because I really love these colors. That's what's coming in there. And here, so far, as you can see, the pearls, and I just kind of went in and out. I'm trying to get it where you can see it a little bit better. 
and I'm gonna attach it to the very bottom here, all right? And we're going to, before I attach it real quick, I'm gonna cut off that real, real long piece that's right in here, okay? So it's gonna be like a little scrabby, what, scrabbly looking tassel, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it with a small piece of jute string or a small piece of string that you have, whichever you have. So I'm gonna tie it around, okay? This portion bottom, the bottom portion, I'm saying it backwards already, and I'm gonna tie it off into a knot, okay? So went underneath, grabbing it, I'm gonna tie it very top up here, because we wanna attach this underneath the um, little kind of like dream catcher that we've made here. We made it our way, if you wanna call it the Talisa's way. Okay, so I've got that. Here's our tassel, see? All right, now I normally don't make tassels that looks like this, I'm just being honest, I normally don't. I normally go with something a little bit more unique by adding what we call bead toppers, and I don't know if you know what those are, but they're strictly for, um, if you're making tassels, it just makes it look really nice and neat. But this shirt I've had for years, ladies. I've had it, yeah. Um, and at the place I got it from, they went out of business. Matter of fact, I wanna say, I don't even remember. I don't even remember the name of it. Vasani or something maybe like that. Okay, this is gonna be, like I said, a very shabby boho look and it's already looking that way. Let me tie it, let me show you what I mean by that. I am making a boho shabby chic necklace out of scrap materials that was given to me and doing it with keychains. Okay, so see how shabby chic this is already looking. Can you see this? I mean, I'm loving it. So what I'm going to do is going to attach a broken piece of jewelry and I'm going to find out by eyeballing it which one I want. Okay. I got a little rosette here that's in the same, well, I'm gonna pop it across the room. A little paper rosette that's around, see the same color? So I'm gonna try to decide if I wanna put that right there below it, or I'm probably gonna put it right here in the center to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the center and then right below it, excuse me, my nose is itching. We've had really bad allergies here today. My kids and myself have both been just dying with the allergies. Um, ooh, look, this is an earring. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. The other one is broken. The pearl is coming out of it, but I'm gonna fix it. Can you see that? I'm gonna pull it back. So what I do is I wind up taking my broken, broken jewelry, which this is gonna be a broken earring. I'm gonna attach it. I want you to see it before I actually do it. Look how gorgeous. Can you see? Let me turn the light off. See how gorgeous that's gonna be by putting it right here. There's a little bow at the very top. Here, there's a little bow right here. You can see that rhinestone. And we're gonna add it right there to the very top. And then I'm gonna add this rosette right here in the very middle with a little piece of, um, what do you wanna call it? Like lace, which will be right here. I'm gonna cut out the center of what looks like a flower, add it to the behind. This is really looking gorgeous. I'm just saying, it is really looking gorgeous. Do you think so? Shoot out the hearts and the stars in the comments and let me know what you think of this. Denise is hitting it hard. Denise, all right. Well, Denise is going in for TLC as well. You guys are so stinking awesome. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. All right, let me cut this out. Then you get the count up. And, We're at 340. oh, awesome. See, every time you guys hit that, the count goes up. So have you noticed that? So you guys are helping in such a huge way. Thank you, Janice, I appreciate you. You're so awesome. Okay, let me add this over the top of my lace. Oh my word, ladies, I'm loving this so much. I'm gonna have to wind up making more of these and probably wind up putting them in my storefront because I think honestly, 
You would really love it if you saw it in person. Let me add this top bead here. Well, earring, it's a broken earring. Kimberly and then and Regina are just tearing those cars up. Kimberly and Regina, thank you so much. He's just, he keeps putting your name in there. <laughs> you guys are the bomb. All right, look. Can you see it? Okay, I added a little piece of lace back here behind it, but let me now show you how I'm gonna assemble this as far as a necklace goes. So I showed you that I use these. Now this is 18 inch, but what I love about this is you can take the, it's called the, like the little ball out of the section that's right here, and you can add an additional closure in here and make this much longer than 18 inches. I personally like to have my necklaces hang somewhere about right in here. Um, that's just my personal opinion. Sometimes if it's up to, now this one's okay, but it's probably the closest I'll go up. It seems like for some reason as I get older, I don't know if you ladies are like me, but as I get older, I like having um, longer necklaces. I don't know why, I guess they're just more flattering to me is my opinion but who is it I'm sorry Tammy and Don and Ann. and Ann, you guys awesome you rock thank you he's keeping up with it so he can put all those names in there along with whoever shooting out those hearts you guys are the awesome you are so thank you so much all right so let me cut this down you're gonna because I'm gonna make it like I said, a little bit longer so you can see it. Um, and I eyeball things. It's probably really bad to do, but that's just my habit. I, I, I've i always done it. It kind of works out for me, so I just go for it. Evelyn. Evelyn. Thank you, Evelyn. You guys are the bomb. <laughs> my husband's laughing at me. He's cracking me, I'm cracking him up, should I say. All right, slipping this over my head. And now one thing I'm going to need, I'm probably gonna have to go into my stash right here. Now see all these little compartments, you'll know, see, I'm about to show you how much I make jewelry, okay? These are for making um, hoop earrings, is what you'll see in here. These are also for making, um, earrings and jewelry out of jeans, which I will also share with you that we can do. If you have jean material and you wanna make some earrings or necklaces out of those, we can do that too. These are some of my uh, lobster claws, which is not what I need. I need to get one of my O-rings. So let me find it. Ooh, I wanna show you this really quick. These are like my Saborski and crystals. Can you, I don't know if you can see them. And then like my real blingy, you see that? That's my blingy, blingy stuff that I love. So we may add one of those on top of here that's in the similar color. Um, probably that silver. Ooh, that looks pretty. Ooh. We're gonna have to make Kathleen a business partner with all those cars. <laughs> my husband says you're gonna have to be um, a business partner, Kathleen, for all of those stars you're sending. She means business. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I'm just trying to find my closures. Oh, and see, here's my pearls, some of my pearls. I'm just showing you really quick. See how those are? Love my pearls. Just saying, I love my pearls. You guys know I'm serious about doing my vintage things. Because, oh, here we go. That's exactly what I wanted to look. What I found is my little O-rings right here. I have them in copper, I have them in silver, and this is in silver, so we're gonna go for silver right here. And let me bend this real quick. I didn't grab all of the items I need, but this should be okay by hand. It is. So I'm gonna just feed it through at the very top. Then you can just take it, feed it through your necklace and then you will twist it back. I think I made this a little bit longer than I normally want because I wanted to show you exactly where I want it to set. And 
What's that? A lot of oyster. Oh yeah. All right, so let me show you real quick how I'm gonna attach this back up here. I could probably even go a little bit shorter if I wanted. All right, but now one thing I really have to do. When I, for some reason, it's a statement thing for me. When I am making necklaces, I love to take my vintage. Now I, by the way. I dyed this. I dyed it with a little bit of, um, oop, let me put these on here real quick before I forget. I dyed it with um, a little bit of my coffee. I'm gonna get it caught on my earring. And a little bit of um, food coloring. Yeah, from the eggs of all things, believe it or not. I did that with from the eggs. So um, I'm gonna have to take both of these off right here for a second because it will not fit, I don't think, over the top of this. Yeah, it will. All right, look. Grabbing this, feeding it through. Grabbing this one. Oops, I'm gonna have to do it with taking this one off just like I thought because it's not gonna go both of them together. But I wanna show you how much of a difference it makes by adding this. Give me just a moment. Let me feed this through the hole. Um, yes, Debbie, they should have, a matter of fact, they went out today. I know that for a fact because um, the mail lady came by because they're only been coming by twice a week and today was the day. They normally send me an email and let me know what day they're going to come by. So it's on its way. Okay, now let's put this back on. I'm, gonna sh I'm just going to go ahead and put it on shorter. Let's take off the pink one so that I'm not competing for it. And let me show you how pretty this is. Can you see how pretty this is? I'll have to do a close up later, but I love this. We're gonna do one more real quick. The next one is gonna be like a tassel with a real pretty button hanging from it. Again, what you'll do is just take your key ring, all right? And so with your key ring, what you'll do is take your mix and matches of materials on this particular one. Now this one, we made it look like, like I said, very boho. Love this. I'm so in love with this. Who loves it? I got to see it. You guys like it? Very pretty, especially with this bling up here at the very top. It is so different. So different. All right. So let's grab some different colors of materials if we wanted to. Maybe a little bit more subtle. Um, cut this one up a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna grab some of the other scraps that she sent me today. And I think maybe this one I wanna do like in mocha colors, maybe a little bit on the brown side. We'll see how it looks together. I think it'll be really pretty. Thank you, Christy. And Regina, back into the TLC bucket you go. Along with those hearts, you guys, are, I feel so blessed. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you, truly, I do. All right, let me do adorable. You like it? You love it? It's pretty? That's what I wanna hear. Now it sounds like we're about to sing a Tim McGraw song. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. All right, tell me to stop. <laughs> All right, so this is some of the scrap materials that was sent to me that I want to use that I think are gonna look awesome together. They're just different textures. Some of them are yarns. Like this is actually a yarn, but I love it. Look how chic that is. We're gonna put that in there. I'm not gonna go perfect with the um, length on it. We're gonna add some jute into this one. We're gonna add a little bit of an orange rustic color. Oh, that's so pretty. This would be honestly perfect for like a fall. I really like the colors in this one. I'm gonna add a little bit of a Chanel, if you can see that. Okay, that one's going in there. Um, don't tell me that I'm funny. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't want that to go to my head, obviously. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of, I'm trying to see if I have another color in here. This green, I don't know, this green might be too powerful. Let's see. No, actually, I love it. All right. Hi, Miss Linda. Linda? 
What's that? Linda from Pat. Hi, Miss Linda. That's for me. That's from Patrick. He said hello. Okay, I'm going to add this color of green. Let me show it to you in a second. Can you see that color of green? Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to add that in there. That's going to be really pretty. Did you do crafts before you married me? Um, no. No. I honestly didn't do very much. I didn't do very many crafts before I got married to my husband. I was Our, the, I was the, he was the inspiration of my you. craft because when we got married, I did everything for our wedding, which was the inspiration of started it. When I did everything for my wedding, I didn't realize, I guess I had the talent. And um, I was asked um, from the wedding vineyard that we actually got married at if I would be willing to help decorate for future weddings. So it started from that a little bit um, close to 30 years ago. So um, I started decorating for weddings, did it for many years, absolutely loved it. That's probably where you see my romantic side come out in me um, and like the fabric bows and all that. But um, it was just taking away from my, my time for my family so much. And um, a lot of things were going online that I just couldn't do as much. So um, I decided to transform into, into this business instead. And it's a lot harder work, believe it or not. It is. It's a much harder work. So let me add a few springs of pearls. My husband is in here with me now. Angel asked, how many times do you go into the TLC bucket for sprinkling? Well, per live, you go in one time for every hundred if your name is chosen. Right. If you shoot out stars, the gold stars... You go in one time per live. So you have a chance if she does multiple lives a day, obviously you can go in multiple times per day. Um, and that's how it works. So yeah, so anytime you're shooting out stars, you go in additional for shooting out those stars because that's the greatest love apparently that Facebook says you can give me right now is those stars, which they just started. Okay, I have all types of different colors and materials in here, but mostly um, it looks like whites, but a little bit of green, a little bit of oranges. Not too overpowering, but I really, really love the colors in there. So I am going to take this, and then um, I have this pretty little, can you see that embellishment? That's uh, I want to add that to it, but for right now, what we're going to do is just take the material, feed it through, and then you're going to have a loop where your finger is up here. That's what's going to hold this together. So you're just going to pull it back through that, making sure you have everything in there. And this is on your keychain. You might have to bring the material and work it down. Sometimes you might have too much material and you might have to take some out. But I think this one's going to be, for me, just right. Okay, and I'll show you. So you'll tighten that up. Move the tassel around to what how you want it to look, all right, which is like this. You see how gorgeous that is? That is stunning. Okay, and then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this piece of lace. Hold on. I'm going to add this piece of lace over the top. Okay, it's going to point downward like that. And we're going to add a gorgeous gemstone over the top of that. So you could leave it alone just like this. It's gorgeous in itself. You don't have to add anything. But I really love going over the top and adding extra. So I'm going to add a little bit of lace coming down. Hold on. Down the tassel a little bit. But at the very top, I want to show you something. I think I'm going to take one of my vintage buttons. Okay, can you see that? And I want to add that like right above it. So let me get my vintage button out. And in the meantime, thanks to Loris, Kathleen, Brenda, and Bev for shooting those stars. Yes, thank you so much. Thank Back you. to our sponsor. Back to our sponsor. <laughs> He's killing me, ladies. He's killing me. All right, I'm going to have to dump my buttons out here for a moment so I can see. Ooh, these are so pretty. Thanks, Carol. I love seeing these. These are so pretty. Look at some of these. Like, 
Look how cool these are. I mean, I love these vintage buttons. Look, this is like one of those little knotted. Can you see that? I mean, there's just like treasures in here. This one's a knotted button. It's black. I mean, there's all kinds of little treasures in here. Do you remember the fabric um, buttons that were covered? There's some of those in here. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, like this one too. This one here, I'm trying to bring it down off the light. Ah, oh, they're just so, so pretty. Okay, let's see. This one's a mother of pearl. Ooh, that would be pretty right there. All right, let me add that mother of pearl there and I'm gonna add another one on the top. Let me show you. I'm gonna add a little smaller one over the top of it. Can you see that? It shimmers just a little bit, okay? Let's see, I don't think I wanna do the gold. I can't cut that one down. Let's see what else. Ooh, they're so pretty, really pretty. I remember being the mother of pearl, but, but uh, get it out, but uh, da. <laughs> what do you do, wash your tongue and you can't do a thing with it? I can't do nothing with it. <laughs> I crack myself up. Ooh, and me. <laughs> All right, check this one out. That one is vintage, very old. I mean, the whole back of it, you can barely see, but it's just like really vintage. I love, I could sit here and play in vintage buttons all day long. I think I got that from whenever I was younger. My grandmother would bring out all of the buttons that wouldn't any longer fit on grandpa's shirts. And um, back then she used me, that's how we used to count is we would take all the buttons and that's how she would have me do math, line them up and then count how, you know, one, two, three. So it was kind of funny. And look at this one. Someone crocheted this one. Isn't that unique? I find it so cool. Okay, now we can add this little button over the top. I wanted to see if I had a smaller little rhinestone that I could put over that. My husband's still watching, ladies. I just wanna keep adding so that I do not stop. Ooh, look, look, look. This is the earring that's broken, but we're gonna use this one. Can you see it? All right, hold on. We're gonna add that on top of this other button. It's a wooden button that's going on the top. Give me a second. Ooh, that's Willow is bird sitting. Willow is bird sitting. That's what she calls Chrislyn. Uh, oh, you mean Chrislyn's bird sitting Willow. Michelle calls her Chris, uh, calls Chrislyn Willow. Oh, I got you. Willow's uh, on her pillow. <laughs> Willow's on her pillow. Well, she literally is. <laughs> she, she is on her pillow. Those two are inseparable. We went, uh, had to go out today because the bird needed some uh, food in that. Of course, we all have to make sure that we're properly suited up and everything. You know what I mean? But we had to get her some food and um, she would not leave her mama yeah, at all. It's funny. It's just really cute. Look how sweet. Can you see that little rhine? Look, you see that rhinestone I added in the middle of that button? I'm trying to turn it there. Look how gorgeous that looks. I mean, that's really, really pretty. I'm loving it. All right. Explain the stars again. The stars is, let me see if I can remember. The stars is, um, it's an, a way of just completely loving on my page. It's like, the next level of the best love that you can give. It's saying you love the project that I performed tonight. You love being here with us tonight in our environment and just being here. It's just, it's like a way of just going over the top and saying um, that you're loving on me. One penny per star. Yes, it's one penny, I think, per star is what they, was what my husband was saying. Um, it's something that Facebook has just started. So it seems like the more, I guess, stars you throw out. Um, only certain pages are um, eligible for it. Not all business pages are eligible for it at this point in time. So the ones that are eligible for it and do take it, it's like an honor to take that the star. And it's a bigger honor that you guys give the stars back to me. So Facebook just kind of like looks at it as a huge win. So that's what I, that's my understanding of it. All right, so now that you have this is a tassel, listen, you could do this in so many ways, okay? If you wanna make this into a necklace and you have scraps and you don't have anything else, 
If you don't have a chain to do this on, don't fret. Just grab all of your different scraps that you have. I would say no more than three. And let me cut it up and show you what I mean. We're gonna make this into a scrap necklace all the way around so you don't even have to worry about buying and purchasing all this other stuff, all right? Let me show you exactly what I mean. It'd be so pretty. And very, not only chic, but very vintage. If you're wearing the right shirt, you could even wear this with a t-shirt, um, a pair of jeans, and it would look adorable. So I am just gonna measure this together, okay? And cut it off because I do want to tie it. So keep in mind, I'm going to put a really big, someone is blowing me kisses. Thank you, Connie. You're so sweet. Appreciate your kisses. That's so sweet. I saw that big old teddy bear. You can't miss that thing. That's cute. It's adorable. That's me. That's not you. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to add some of this jute with it. So the stars is basically a virtual tip jar. Yes, I guess you could call it that. I guess pretty much that. It's my first night doing it, so I am still learning. Uh, Facebook gets most of the tip. <laughs> uh, probably. You know how it is with them. There, any way that they can uh, come up with something creative and different, they're gonna do it, so. Okay, the same concept is what we did with the other, except we're only using three different, three separate materials with this one. So to give it a little added, um, what I want to call it, character. We're going to do the same thing as we did the first time. You're going to pull all three of the strands together, okay? And then you're going to just loop it back through, okay? This is going to be the part for the necklace, all right? And then you're going to just grab it without grabbing the rest of the tassel on the bottom. Got that tangled in there, okay? And we're going to make this portion the necklace. Kathleen, girlfriend, we're putting an extra, putting you in the extra for um, the TLC bucket. You have sent me 1,200 stars. That is over, so awesome. Over 1,200. You are the bomb, girlfriend. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So, okay, you see this? This is the part we're going to make the necklace, but here's where I want to add a little bit of character. We're going to take and just tie a knot, all right, at random, anywhere right here in the necklace. Can you see that? We're gonna do the same thing over here, all right? Just at random, anywhere. Make sure I got, wait a minute. Give me a moment. You know what I did is I put both the jutes over on one side. So learn from my lesson, separate the three, count. Make sure you got three of the same kind on one side and three on the same kind on the other side. So let me grab that over there, there. So let's go back to this one, okay? Making sure that you have your knot, pulled it. All right, now we're gonna come over here, making sure that we have a knot. And it doesn't have to be even. That's the great thing about how we're doing this, is when we add these knots, it's wherever it lays is wherever it lays. It just doesn't have to have all that extra. Okay. So let me make this one one more time because when I took that out, it didn't make it as loose as I wanted it. There we go. All right, so now what you can do from here, especially if you have arthritis in that, this would be perfect for that. So you would take it or go it around your neck, okay? And you can just loop it twice loosely if you wanted to. Or if you have arthritis, let's do it this way. Pull it around here, look at it, tie it just like a knot with a bow, okay? That way, like I said, you won't have to have cramp your hands up if you have, and this will look really pretty, honestly, having a cute little bow hanging off the back side of your shirt from your necklace, very chic. All right, and then this is how this one would lay. Can you see that? See how pretty that is? I love both of these. I don't know which one I love the most. They're both very chic, very chic. 
So that's what you can do. That's why I say, ladies, don't throw the scrap materials away because you can wind up making gorgeous things like this. I've made bracelets out of them. I've made some beautiful earrings, which I can show you um, soon how we can do that. I've made these gorgeous little necklaces out of them. I've made some for brides. Brides really love these, especially when it comes to bridesmaids. Um, and they're doing like what I love to do is the shabby chic weddings and that. They want to make them where they kind of match but mismatch. For like matching jewelry, I'll do things like this and add pearls that I will crochet into these materials. And they just love it. So thank you, Regina, for the stars and Kelly. Thank you, Kelly and Regina. And thank you, honey, for being my eyes when I can't see it sometimes. So that was tonight's DIY. Tell me that you love this DIY. I went through a lot of trouble trying to get all this together tonight. So I hope that you really love it. Look how gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? And it's so unique. It's so different. It's definitely taking it to the max of the extraordinary, wouldn't you say? <laughs> um, by the way, in case you don't know, Saturday the 25th, this Saturday, I, along with seven other um, huge crafters, we are um, going to be doing a presentation. It's going to start off with Christy's Crafting. It's going to be um, Lizzie and Aaron next. Um, I believe uh, Fo, Your Eyes Only, Renee will be after that. Stacy Wilshire is coming in after her. Um, I believe, anyhow, I'm like the seventh presenter. I'm trying to remember everybody. I think Owl B will be in there after Stacy, And then my good friend, we just found out today, lives less than five miles from me, which is, um, now that we're saying it, be market inspired. You know who she is, Carol? We just found out today that we live less than five miles from each other, which is absolutely crazy. So we're going to have to get together. And um, then myself, and then there'll be uh, Southern Designs, I believe, right after me. So I'm excited about it, but here's the thing. We are giving away $200 as a gift card, but you must be present at every person who's doing the crafting. The reason for it is we're throwing out something that's called a, I guess you want to call it a secret um, scavenger hunt word and we all have our own separate words so you'll have to know which word is going to be it we'll present it during our live and then at the very end Renee will come back on you all you have to do is just go in, in there with following the whole lineup which is only about I believe it's like it's from one o'clock until five o'clock so it's like a four hour window is when we're doing this and she will explain it, and then you guys are going into that drawing, and then each one of us is also doing a separate giveaway for that as well, which I am thinking what to do because I want to make it over the top. And if you guys are going to be here to bless me, I just want to know how I can bless you back. So just wanted to let you know about it. Hope that you'll be here for it, and I appreciate you. And my husband's going to call out those names really quick, and you guys are going to go have a great Monday. All right. Good evening, ladies. First, we're going to start with Virginia Baker, Kim McElyay, Hazel Malden, Rebecca Lee, Angel Rob Robison, Lisa Taylor. And for those ladies that uh, sent lots of stars, I'd like to thank Betty Sachow, Carol Skoraki, Dolores Adams, Brenda Phillips, Janice Thompson, Nyla Reynolds, Athena Werner, Alice Martinez, P. Jane Moore, Denise Sheets, Linda Signorello, Tammy Copenhaver, Kathleen Nichols, You the Bomb, Idri Walker, Kelly Schultz, Bev Johnson, Evelyn Sapp, Ann Koshoni, Don Patterson, Rose Brunzel, Linda Meir, Dakota Harrington, Regina Turner, Christy Richardson, Tanya Cowley, April Hutchinson, Deborah Smiley, Barbara Johnston, Kimberly Salowick. Thank you very much, ladies. Have a you good evening. You guys are the bomb. I wish you a great evening, and I will see you very soon on our next DIY. And if you haven't become a part over of our paid VIP group, please go ahead and make sure you do that because it will be Ending on um, April 30th, you won't be able to get any there, get in there anymore at the $7 that we're offering right now. It's a family VIP um, 
crafting group and it's behind the scenes with the whole family. You will get to meet my husband and all the kids and we're gonna be there together. And so there'll be a lot of great things that we'll do. And if you need some more direct, um, instructions on that, please let me know for everyone that may be in there. And if it's um, if you haven't gone and paid, because of course we're checking the website, don't be offended, but it's only a paid group. So you will be weeded out and then only the members only will be in there because we have so much that we want to share with you guys. All right. So I will see you very soon. If you have any questions about it, just throw it in the comments and I'll make sure to get it answered for you. Have a great evening. Thank you, Ann. All right. Bye. Thank you, Ann.